Nothing makes a more impressive centerpiece during the holidays than a homemade gingerbread house. This year, you can show off your creation during Cliffdale Regional Branch Library's 6th Annual Gingerbread House Contest on December 3rd. Library Associate Sana Mulder and professional cake decorator Michelle Movius offer a preview of the upcoming contest and share some tips to help you get started on your masterpiece. The library is holding a gingerbread house contest. We do this um, on a yearly basis, obviously. This is the sixth year that we've done it in a row. And to be honest, the reason that we do it is because it's fun. Um, no one else locally does it. I've seen contests like up in Raleigh and Durham, but no one else here in town does this. Each entry form, we divide it in categories. Um, children's is usually up to age eight. The youth is nine to 12, teen is 13 to 18, and adult is above 18. In addition, we do have a rule that if a child is entering a house that they have to do all of the work. An adult can help get the gingerbread in and out of the oven, but they can't help the child decorate. If an adult does help, then it needs to come in as a family entry indicating that more than one person was involved in creating the house. During the day, um, the houses are set up all day Saturday as people come into the library, they come into the room and we give them a ballot and they vote on their favorite house. We have judging that usually starts at about three o'clock. Michelle Movius, who is a professional cake decorator, is one of the judges. Jessica Banoff from the Fayetteville Observer is a second one. And Dave Stone from 96.5, the Bob FM, is the third one. When I'm judging, there's several things I look for as a judge. Um, there's numerous aspects to consider. One thing I always consider is the creativity, of course. And then one thing I especially like to look for is people that think outside the box. So it's not just a typical cute gingerbread house, but it goes beyond that with some extra creativity. And along with that, I look for their skill, for their age appropriateness level. Younger kids are gonna have this level of quality of work, and then older people, you expect more out of them. So you look for age appropriateness. Then also the quality of the work, the neatness. And one thing that's very important is the eye appeal. Like, when you first look at it, is it really attractive? Does it catch your eye? So you put all that together, and that kind of comes up with your final decision. People come in with things, and I'm like, how did somebody ever think of doing that? Uh, we have one where they'll take like Jolly Rancher candy and they melt it in the oven on a cookie sheet and then they cut it in to make like stained glass windows or ponds. They'll use different candies, even Necco wafers. I didn't even think anybody made those anymore. That's such an old candy. Makes great uh, shingled roofs. Um, we had one last year that they had taken shredded wheat and pulled it apart and used it to make a thatched roof. The, the creativity of people is just astonishing sometimes. There are a lot of houses that really do blow your mind, you might say, because you're used to seeing just the simple uh, department store gingerbread houses out on display. But people anymore are getting so creative and going so far beyond that that there are certain ones that really stay on my mind. In regards to making gingerbread for the gingerbread houses, there's two techniques actually that are allowable. You can buy pre-made gingerbread. Some of the kits come with pre-made gingerbread. And then of course there's a recipe for gingerbread where you can make your own gingerbread and you cut out the pieces to the size that you want. And a lot of times you can make larger houses with homemade gingerbread. And there's some very large houses that we see that are very, they're, they're real eye catchers by the way, the very large houses tend to do something extra for you. We usually get 25 to 30 house, houses on average. We've had some that started the first year in a youth and then were judged the next year in the teen segment and then the third year in adult. And now we probably pretty much need to hire them as judges because they've gone so far beyond anything that we do. And now um, Dr. Hank Parfit has borrowed some of our stuff and is using it in the Dickens Holiday because he does a contest that's aimed at professionals. He doesn't want to step on our, our amateur house builders, so he finds his professional bakers. I think it's a great thing for parents and children to, to work together on. Um, either the, the adult can guide the child and give them ideas, but it's, um, it's a creative process and you really have to stop and think. And I really believe that, that every great stride in human history has come up out of some 
creative spark or idea. Somebody said, hey, what if we invented a car or what if we invented a space shuttle? Somebody has to have that creative brain and something like this does force people to be creative and think outside of the lines. And if anyone has actually been in a library lately, you sure know that we are just not all about books anymore. We have audio and visual that you can borrow. We have programs for kids of all ages. We have gaming for teens and tweens. We have electron, we have downloadable content for your Kindle or for your MP3 player. It's, it's, it's not just books anymore.